Luke, Coach Wilson said he gave you a lot of love today, but it didn't sound like it was good love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just Coach Wilson. And that's what we need, I think, this week to get going. You know, you're kind of in the middle of spring ball. It gets a little mundane. You got to have that extra juice sometimes. So this was a little <laughs> bit different practice than you've been having? Was it something you did or just needed a little extra juice? Today? Same stuff. It's just like anybody, you start going, to motions, going through the motions a little bit. So you kind of need that little push to get going. So I'd only ask him because it seemed like you've been overlooked for maybe how important you can be for this next step for the offense. What do you, what do you feel like is the is that next level you can go to and how important do you feel like you will be for this offense? Um, you know, I think as a group we need to step up this year. Tight ends, we got, you know, four guys who have had some experience coming back, older guys. And, I mean, Ruck's only second year, but he's been doing really well. So being able to play as a group more I think is really important. And then, I mean, we all have to improve across the board on um, on everything and, and then also building that trust with the coaches and quarterbacks, you know, that they can count on us being out there, whether it's one, two tight ends out there. Yeah, Luke, reflect on last year. You played a lot and, and you know, what you want to build on going into your, your fourth year as a fourth year junior this year. Uh, just keep being reliable, you know, uh, it's solid in the blocking game, protection, and then uh, being able to keep getting separation on routes even more so. It seems like every year we're talking in the spring, maybe this is going to be the year they use the tight ends more in the passing game. It just, uh, I mean, do you feel like that might happen, that you guys might be used more in the passing game? I mean, uh, I think it's in our hands right now as a tight end group, whether we, you know, want to push ourselves forward and keep getting better to that point where we can be or not. So, I mean, I think it's up to us. And it's pretty rare, I would think, that you have four scholarship tight ends. They all played a decent amount last year, and you guys are all back. I mean, yeah, that's, that's exciting. You guys are all going to be a year better. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. It's exciting. And, you know, we're one of the older groups now, so we got to step up and be leaders as well. You say it's up to you. What will that entail up to the group? Just as, a, uh, like I said, building that trust, you know, being consistent every day uh, with, with how we come out and uh, execute, as well as, like, our effort and energy uh, on the field. How much has versatility been kind of an emphasis on this room? How, able, what? how much has versatility been an emphasis for the tight end room, especially like being able to do that's the, I mean, that's the standard here since, you know, even when back when Coach Meyer got here, uh, you know, when you come to play tight end at Ohio State, you're going to do everything. You're going to be expected to block uh, like an offensive lineman, pass pro, and, and run routes like a receiver. Jeremy's been used a little bit at H, I think, this spring. Coaches have mentioned um, that's more of his natural position of what he played in high school. He didn't play tight end until he got here. What have, what have you seen out of his development over the past year that he's been here now? Um, I mean, right from day one, he was like a guy that came and wanted to get better. So uh, that hasn't changed, you know, whether he's at Y or H. Uh, it's, it's pretty similar stuff with what he's comfortable with, you know, and, and I think he can do both well. For a guy like Jeremy or even you younger when you were earlier in your career, is, is blocking the biggest adjustment a, a tight end has to make for going from high school to college? So for sure, yeah. I mean, anywhere you go in high school, the level of play, it's just the change that happens from, from high school. It's just so big. Um, it's really tough to come in, even like he did in play as a true freshman. I just want to get your thoughts in general on this offense. The Buckeyes shattered offensive records last year for the school and just now out, you know, Ryan Day, it's his program. Just your thoughts on playing in, in a prolific offense like this? Yeah, that expectation doesn't change. You know, uh, I'm really excited about it, you know, with the two guys. We got a quarterback competing. Um, yeah, it shouldn't drop off. Whoever's back there, whoever's running the offense, expectation is still there. What stands out about each of those guys, Justin and, and Matt? I mean, they're both younger guys, but they, uh, Justin came in, did well adjusting to our offense, you know, getting in. And uh, they, they're both ready for the competition, so it's exciting to see you know, them attack it that way. Jeremy, um, Kevin was kind of saying that you guys have enough depth and versatility to use a three tight end set if you really wanted to. Yeah, I mean, like I said, our group, uh, older groups, you know, coming on with last year and this year, and, and like I said, it's basically in our hands whether we're going to make that happen or not. Yeah, but are you seeing a lot of three tight end sets here in spring? I mean, it springs. He seems like a little like a mad scientist who's like really excited not, about mean, the chemicals. Yeah. You don't always know what, what Coach Wilson's got in his head all the time, uh, but I know that he's going to do what's best for our group and what's best for our offense. So whether that's a part of it. Are you expecting more two tight end sets this year? We always expect it. We always expect to be on the field, you know, and doing whatever we can to get out there. Why do you run like that?